President Tinubu there. Now, after President Bola Tinubu inaugurated the National Economic Council, the council proceeded to hold its first meeting, chaired by Vice President Kashim Shetima. It considered recommendations from the National Salaries, Income and Wages Commission to pay 702 billion naira as a cost of living allowance to civil servants as part of intervention plans to mitigate the effects of the uh, petroleum subsidy removal. The NEC, as it is called, also discussed other palliative measures and how they will be dispensed to ease the hardship of Nigerians. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports. This inaugural meeting of the National Economic Council has already set the pace for the Tinubu administration's economic growth agenda. Vice President Kashim Shetima and other members of the council are presently faced with a difficult national situation caused by the implementation of the petrol subsidy remover. The National Economic Council resolved to provide palliatives which will include a consequential increment in the salaries of workers. Part of the issues that we discussed today is palliative measures to mitigate the effect of the petroleum subsidy uh, through the NGKS program. As you are aware, NGKS program is a program that has started 2021, running off to 2024, and then is to provide uh, some emergency and palliatives, social needs on so many issues ranging from small farmers, holders, MSMEs, and other interventions. There should be an adjustment, consequential adjustment, estimated at 702 billion to 919 million eight naira as part of uh, the allowances that should be given as petroleum allowance to all workers and as well as 23 or to 45 billion month monthly uh, offer to cushion the effect to workers. The federal government may be considering a more pragmatic approach to tackling the many problems associated with subsidy removal. One of these is empowering the National Automotive Design and Development Council to reduce the consumption of petrol by manufacturing electric cars. It is estimated that if we give legislative support to these companies, that about a million jobs from the 50,000 jobs that exist in that industry would be created. The National Economic Council is also concerned about the impact of floods on households and livelihood in Nigeria. It has directed all states to come up with an action plan on mitigating the impact of this natural disaster and present it to the council. The inauguration of the National Economic Council is already a pointer to how the economy will be run. But for so many Nigerians, the most important outcome of this meeting is the palliatives and how soon it will cushion the impact of subsidy removal. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.